Hey there, I'm Di and today I'm revisiting my 90s childhood. So back in the 90s, I'm not going to say exactly how old I was back then. Let's just say I um, got to see all of them. Back then for school, we had these backpacks. They were like an army canvas type satchel thing. I'll show you. <laughs> I've got one. They are such a basic, plain, rather ugly. Some of us had these. I don't know if you're a 90s kid. Did you have these as well? Do you remember these backpacks? Anyway, we used to get pens, permanent markers like Sharpies, markers, and we used to decorate them, draw whatever on them, and you know, really make them our own. And so I want to revisit my childhood, my 90s childhood. I'm going to customize it with 90s nostalgic stuff. So I want to use my pockets, pockers. <laughs> I ain't pockers. So I've got a bunch of poskas and I'm just going to draw 90s nostalgic stuff on my 90s style backpack. Let's do this. So the first thing I want to do is take a little trip down memory lane and look up some 90s nostalgia. My plan is to get around a dozen little pictures scattered over the bag and maybe some sort of 90s pattern lightly in the background. I've got a few ideas in my head, but being that the 90s were what? 20 to 30 years ago? Oh my God. I can't believe it was that long ago. That's crazy. Whew, I'm feeling old now. Anyway, now these little guys are something I think every 90s kid remembers. I definitely had a few, usually with a pencil shoved up their backside. There are so many things I could include, but I've got to keep in mind, I need to be able to draw them simply and for them to be easily recognizable. Now that I've got my little list of ideas, I want to sketch them out on paper first. I want them big enough to color easily, but small enough that I can include a decent amount. I remember doodling on my school books and pencil case in class while I was supposed to be listening to the teacher usually, and I want to include some things I would randomly draw, like the peace symbol and yin yang, even though they're not strictly from that era. There are gonna be several things I include that started in the 70s and 80s, but were popular in the 90s as well. Now, it wouldn't be the 90s without a mixed tape. Who remembers spending hours with their tape recorder, listening to the radio and waiting for your favourite song to come on so you could hit the record button and quickly stop before the DJ started talking again? Bit easier these days downloading music onto your device. In order to get the designs onto the bag, I will cut them out, then colour the backs of them with pencil and trace over them, pressing firmly. The outline has come out very light, so I'll trace over them again. The lines are going to be a little wonky as my pencil is sliding around because of the deeply textured fabric. I just hope the colouring part won't be so bad. So I haven't quite got enough pictures to cover the bag and I'm considering just repeating what I've already done, but I think it would look better with different pictures. So I whip up a few more sketches, including a Polly Pocket flower, a best friend heart charm that I remember exchanging with my friends. And remember those little butterfly clips that we would flood our hair with? Oh, the memory. These little pics I'm drawing are the pictures from a lip smacker packet. I vividly remember having the vanilla shimmer lip smacker and I loved it. I wonder if I can still get it. I am feeling so nostalgic looking at this bag with its little designs on. It's taking me straight back to my school days. Although I am glad to say my drawing skills have improved since I was seven. Time for the best bit, colouring. Let's see how well these podcasts... Podcasts? Autocorrect. Let's see how well these poskas go on this canvas material. These Posca pens are going down beautifully and the thick nib of the markers are far easier than the thin tip of a pencil. So I do have far more control. 
Look at that lolly diamond ring. It looks delicious. Hmm, pink for the butterfly clip just isn't going to work, as I need pink for the Polly Pocket flower next to it. Blue is better. Oh, those colours are just divine. Not necessarily a 90s colour palette, but I think it's working for this bag. I'm just not sure about the colour of the bag itself. It's a bit drab and dull, so I think I'll paint it later. Poor old troll doll looks a little jacked up, but hopefully with an outline and highlights later it will look better. I'm running out of this yellow Posca, so I bring in a cheap packet of paint pens that I got from Kmart to see if it'll work. I love that the barrel is clear so you know when the paint is mixed. And wow, I'm totally impressed with how well it's working, but the nib is fine point, so not ideal for this fabric. Then I realise I do actually have a thicker Posca in this same colour. But these cheaper paint pens have got me thinking. I would like to do a video testing out paint pens because as much as I love Poscas, I don't love the price. So let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in a video trying out alternative cheaper paint pens. Or if you've seen someone else do a comparison video on paint markers, let me know as well so I can check it out too. That way I can try to include paint pens that haven't been reviewed. For the background, I'm going to use this ivory Posca. This may take a while, so let me save you that process. And, oh, it looks trash, but I have no alternative on hand. So I'll skip to the outline and highlights until I can make it to a shop to buy some fabric paints. I think fabric paint for such a big area will be the way to go. I use a finer marker for the outline and I have to say it's a bit of a struggle. Like the pencil, this fine nib Posca is jumping around over the rough fabric, so I have to hold on really tight and hold it at a real upright angle to make it work. outline and the highlights it's all just coming together beautifully. I had intended to do that 90s pattern I found earlier all over the background but I think it will look a bit too busy so I'll just put it on the pockets and fill in the gaps on this flap as it's looking a little bare there. So it turns out I've got a bit of a problem here. I've been trying to do this background and I went over it with fabric paint thinking it would cover up that streaky Posca mess, but it's just made it 100 times worse and I am freaking out. I think I've ruined it completely right when I was nearly finished. I'm not sure if I can save it. The material just seems to be drinking the paint. It's leaving streaks everywhere and I have not mixed the color up very well. It's just not what I wanted. All I can do at this point is wait for it to dry overnight. I'll do another coat tomorrow and um, yeah, maybe add some other details in that will hopefully draw the attention away from this bodge job. Fingers crossed.
So here's my 90s style backpack. I was able to save it a little. Popped on some extra patches of colour, slightly fixed that background colour. Some of the patchiness still remains. But as I always say, it is what it is. And even though I'm not happy with that cream background, the rest of it does bring a smile to my face looking at it. Well, thanks for joining me on my trip down memory lane. I hope to see you next time. Catch you around.